have Yippee ki yay, movie lovers, it's Jan here, and today I want to talk about everyone's favourite super baby Jack Jack and explain and rank his 17 powers. If you're new here, I do regular Pixar and superhero videos plus giveaways. To enter my latest giveaway, make sure you're a subscriber, watch my video, and let me know your top three Jack Jack powers. Some spoilers ahead for Jack Jack's scene, so take care if you haven't seen Incredibles 2 yet, and remember you can add this video to your watch later playlist. We only see his powers of electrokinesis very briefly in Incredibles 2 when Jack-Jack sneezes. After Mr. Incredible discovers Jack-Jack's powers for the first time, we see a brief lightning effect around the super-powered baby, suggesting he can summon electricity. In fact, it reminds me a bit of Thor's lightning powers in the MCU. After Syndrome kidnapped Jack-Jack in the first movie, the baby transformed into metal, dragging the villain down and throwing him off balance. Jack-Jack's levitation powers are a fun spectacle we've seen in the short Jack-Jack Attack and Incredibles 2, and it's something he appears to be able to control quite well. Associated with this power is the ability to reverse gravity selectively. For example, in the short, while Jack-Jack hangs upside down on the ceiling, he maintains his position but allows the milk from his bottle to fall onto Kari. When manifesting his powers, Jack-Jack displays various degrees of super strength, durability and resistance. During the raccoon fight, he physically wrestles, kicks and smacks the creature across the yard, and he also picks up and throws garden furniture with ease. In Jack-Jack Attack, he was able to chew his way through a wooden playpen. There wasn't any sign of wood left over either, suggesting that Jack-Jack's body can even cope with digesting organic matter like wood. His skin is also pretty damage resistant too, because he can withstand fighting with the raccoon and even turning himself on fire. And that ability to burst into flames is pretty cool, and what he touches can also catch fire too. He used this power against Syndrome in the first movie, but it's something that often seems to be triggered by emotion. It'd definitely be good to see him learn to harness the ability and even potentially throw fireballs. Another cool power Jack-Jack has in Incredibles 2 is the ability to rocket jump or blast off, and that often seems to be brought on by a sneeze. Jack-Jack also has a sort of elasticity, similar to his mother, where he can stretch his body, for example when he's attacked by the raccoon, and this could well be an important part of his seeming invulnerability. There's an interesting moment in The Incredibile when, after escaping from the hypnotised supers at the house, the par children are feeling unsure about how to go forward. Jack-Jack levitates, rotates, and at the same time performs a weird reality distortion effect that warps and wobbles the space inside the car. This reminds the kids that they have a secret weapon, their highly superpowered baby brother, and that kickstarts them into action. Seeing Jack-Jack create multiple copies of himself is pretty awesome. This is a useful skill to have against an opponent, and we see this when Jack-Jack attacks the raccoon, and it reminds me somewhat of Agent Smith from The Matrix. Jack-Jack also self-multiplies at Edna's house, and while he's there we also get to see his power of mimicry. He can not only make himself look like the feisty fashion designer, but he can also imitate her physical expressions. Jack-Jack used his ability to shapeshift into a demon to ferociously good effect against Syndrome. As the infant transforms, he gets red skin, longer nails and sharper teeth, plus his muscles expand, giving him increased strength and manoeuvrability, which he uses to pull out Syndrome's hair and attack his rocket boots. The sequel also shows Jack-Jack transforming into a demon on multiple occasions, and suggests this power is often triggered when the toddler gets angry, for example when he's denied a cookie. It's a pretty funny moment in Incredibles 2 when Jack-Jack grows into a giant baby, bursting out of an air vent where he and his siblings were hiding. He also then smashes and runs through a series of metal walls in a moment that reminded me of Juggernaut in X-Men 3. Of course, with Ant-Man and the Wasp out this year as well, I couldn't help but also think of Giant-Man. Jack-Jack's ability to teleport is an incredibly useful one that first manifested in Jack-Jack Attack. This is the first power he ever displayed, and happened just after Kari put on some classical music by Mozart. The Parr family had always assumed that Jack-Jack was normal, but just after Kari puts on some Mozart, Jack-Jack seems to perk up and his eyes dilate, and in the next few seconds his powers kick into action. It seems like it was Mozart that unlocked Jack-Jack's latent superpowers, because as Kari says to Helen, I also brought Mozart to play where he sleeps to make him smarter, because leading experts say Mozart makes babies smarter. Phasing through solid objects like walls and windows is another incredibly useful skill, as it means Jack-Jack isn't really constrained by any physical boundaries. Kari witnessed this to hilarious effect in Jack-Jack Attack, and we also see him use it in Incredibles 2. 
Not only can Jack-Jack teleport between physical locations, but he can also travel to other dimensions, and once there, he can still even communicate with our own dimension. Cookie! Cha-Cha want a cookie? Num num cookie! Cha-Cha want num num! By the way, the other dimension scene is a fantastic Easter egg to the classic horror movie Poltergeist, which I talk more about in my Easter eggs video. There's a link for that at the end of this video and in the video description. We first get a taste of Jack-Jack's telekinetic powers when, during the raccoon scene, he uses his mind to raise the trash can lid off the floor. And it's Jack-Jack who ultimately breaks the hypnotic spell cast on Elastigirl when he telekinetically removes her goggles. Jack-Jack's telekinesis is a new ability that we see for the first time in the sequel, and this power has been wielded by some of the most powerful heroes on screen. Think Jean Grey from the X-Men and Eleven from Stranger Things. Jack-Jack's 17 powers are all fantastic, so deciding on my favourite was tough, but his laser vision and how he uses it in the raccoon scene is pretty amazing. We did see the laser eyes for the first time in Jack-Jack Attack, where Kari used a hand mirror to deflect the rays. However, one of the funniest moments in Incredibles 2 has to be when Bob turns Jack-Jack into a kind of baby laser gun. <laughs> I'm just demonstrating. Go firing the baby around the house, you understand? Now what are your three favourite Jack-Jack powers? And what would you like to see him do if there's another sequel? Let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to enter my Incredibles giveaway. Tap the link here to watch the top 30 Easter eggs you missed in Incredibles 2 or check out my full Pixar playlist. If you enjoyed this, a like is really appreciated and you can tweet me at Jan underscore Gilbert. New Incredibles 2 videos are on the way, plus Jurassic World 2 next week. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Yippee-ki-yay, movie lovers!